If you are familiar with the addition of hydrogen halides to alkenes, you'll feel right at home with what you see here. When a limited amount of hydrogen halide is mixed with a terminal alkyne, the product is a vinyl halide. If an excess of hydrogen halide is present, the hydrogen halide adds twice, first to make the vinyl halide, and then the vinyl halide, acting as an alkene, adds another mole. In both reactions, the halide can be chlorine or bromine, and in both cases, addition follows Markovnikov's rule. The hydrogen adds to the alkene or alkyne carbon, having the greater number of hydrogens attached already. For the second reaction I've illustrated here, this means that the hydrogen adds to the same carbon twice, and the product is a geminal dihalide. The regius selectivity we observe can be rationalized on the basis of mechanistic considerations. Following along the lines for electrophilic addition to alkenes, it's easy to write the following mechanism. A pair of pi electrons are used to form a sigma bond with hydrogen. That makes an intermediate carbocation. And in the second step, a nucleophile adds. The nucleophile is halide that was formed in the first step when the proton was lost from a halogen atom. While this two-step electrophilic addition mechanism makes sense, it's not entirely accurate for all of the reaction. At least part of the reaction takes place by a different mechanism, often written involving two moles of hydrogen halide. While the bond is being formed through the proton with one pair of electrons, making the halide, a second bond is forming to the other carbon with the halide. Everything happens at once. This is what we call a concerted reaction, as shown in this transition state, to make the vinyl halide. Notice that in each case, a positive charge shows up on one of the alkene carbons, either a full charge in one mechanism or a partial charge in the other. But whichever of the mechanisms we're looking at, the charge can be stabilized by the alkyl group that's attached to that carbon. That accounts for the regis selectivity. The proton adds, so we put the positive charge on the carbon that bears the alkyl group, which is the more stable one. The more stable transition state, or intermediate, is formed faster, so that position selectivity predominates. It's worth mentioning, of course, this could be a hydrogen, in which case we'd be starting with acetylene. And the hydrogen I've shown could be an alkyl group. So there really are three possibilities, starting with acetylene, starting with a terminal alkyne, or starting with an internal alkyne. The mechanism is the same no matter what. The second step of the reaction that adds another mole of hydrogen halide is exactly the mechanism that we've talked about for adding hydrogen halides to alkenes. Let's take a look at another electrophilic addition to alkynes. When alkynes are treated with molecular halogen, chlorine or bromine, halogen adds twice. The product is a tetrahalide. When you restrict the amount of halogen used to one mole equivalent, it's often possible to isolate the di vinyl bromide or chloride. Like the addition of halogen to alkenes, this addition proceeds with anti-addition, so the product has the E stereochemistry. The addition of halogen to alkynes has a mechanism that's somewhat complicated, but that lack of understanding of the mechanism doesn't affect our understanding of how to use this. We can use the addition of halogen to make tetrahalides or to make vinyl dihalides.